Hi everybody, Dr. Biology here and this is the AQA GCSE Combined Science Biology Higher Tier Paper 2 Predictions for 2025. Just to remind you, Paper 2 is going to be on Monday 9th of June in the morning and it lasts for 1 hour and 15 minutes. It's really true, you do need to revise everything, okay, so I am going to give you some pointers but revise everything. Past papers, really important, so you can revise content but without doing past exam questions or past papers. It really does restrict your grade, so it's really important you do that. Thirdly, learn the keywords. So what are all the keywords? Maybe use flashcards. Um, Quizlet is pretty good for flashcards. Um, so yeah, definitely all the keywords. Know the command words. What I mean by that is the things like in the question related to describe, explain, suggest, calculate, etc. And five, never, ever, ever give up. Make sure you answer every single question that comes up in your exam. These are predictions. Do not just revise these topic topics. These are based on me looking at past papers and looking at what possibly could come up in the future. So, paper two, stuff that may come up. First of all, this is a double star because hormones in human reproduction has not come up for quite some time. Um, so this is definitely the menstrual cycle. It's looking at FSH, LH, estrogen and progesterone. So I would be looking at some graphs. So maybe look at some past paper questions related to looking at graphs and also um, talking about the menstrual cycle. Contraception, again, it comes up quite a lot. Usually it's a data-led question. So they give you lots of informa information. They might want you to evaluate some information. So remember, evaluate is looking at pros and cons. Human nervous system. So there was a lot about um, hormones generally, um, but the human nervous system did not really come up. So particularly reflex actions and nerve pathways and definitely the required practical on measuring reaction times. DNA and genome, so getting into inheritance, um, always know the keywords, what DNA, chromosomes, genes, and genome means. Meiosis, that hasn't come up for some time, so how meiosis halves the number of the chromosomes and it makes gametes like sperm or egg. Genetic inheritance, so know your Punnett squares. So uh, this includes the genetic disorders. Remember the two genetic disorders, cystic fibrosis, fibrosis and polydactyly? They could ask you about other genetic disorders, but they can only be um, either dominant, so dominant mutation, dominant allele, or it could be related to being uh, recessive. In other words, for example, cystic fibrosis, you could have carriers. So a carrier does not have the, the disease, um, just carries the defective recessive allele. Evolution, definitely learn the theory of natural selection by good old Charles Darwin. Uh, know about speciation, fossils and evidence. In fact, speciation, ignore that. I think that's for GCSE biology only. So definitely fossils, three ways fossils are formed and what evidence is there for um, uh, the theory of natural selection. Again, pros and cons of that. Classification. OK, so remember your um, mnemonics for, for example, Linnaeus hierarchical system. Uh, my favourite is king prawn curry or fat greasy sausage. That's a good way to remember the uh, classification system of Linnaeus and also Vus. And also you can use classification trees. In ecology, definitely know your abiotic and biotic factors and definitely go through the required practical where you investigate uh, plant populations using quadrats. Food chains, that could come up, so be able to label a food chain, maybe look at percentage change, uh, know about predator-prey relationships and interpreting graphs. And then lastly, I would say deforestation, the pros and cons, evaluate deforestation, maybe look at global warming as well. And also about how you would maintain biodiversity. So how would you uh, make sure that the environment is protected? 
do remember, please, that some Paper 1 stuff can come up in Paper 2. So uh, if you want to find out more, please do check out this essential exam information. And also remember my video, Dr. B's 10 Top Tips. So obviously those are the predictions for Paper 1 and now Paper 2. So I wish you all the very best of luck. Please do keep subscribing. There'll be some more revision uh, videos coming up. And I wish you all the very best. And I'll see you soon.